Next, we have system of equations from context graphically, graphically um, guided. So let's see here. Isaac and his children went into a grocery store and he bought $6 worth of apples and bananas. Each apple cost $1.50 and each banana cost 30 cents. He bought a total of eight apples and bananas all together. By following the steps below, determine the number of apples and the number of bananas that Isaac bought. So determine three ways to have a total of eight apples and bananas. Oh gosh. Um, let's see, we could have four apples and four bananas, right? Not exactly sure. We're going to figure this one out together. So I'm not totally sure what they're asking here. Determine three ways to have a total of eight apples and eight bananas. So number of apples and number of bananas. So four apples and four bananas. Let's see what that says. Okay, so here I wasn't really looking for a right answer. I just was looking for a possible a possibility, right? So I could have three apples and five bananas. Um, how many did I do? Oh, whoops, five bananas, right? Three apples and five bananas, right? So three apples and five bananas. Okay, so that's another possible combination. We don't know whether or not it's right. I could have, uh, I could have eight apples. Let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight apples and zero bananas. So eight apples and zero bananas. Okay. So now they're saying plot a line through these three points. Click twice to plot each line. Click a line to delete it. All right, so I've got a point on eight zero. I've got a point on three five. Three five, right there. <clears throat> and what was my other point? My point, my other point was four four which is also on that line. Okay, so now they want us to come up with another three possibilities, right? So um, determine three ways to have a total cost of $6. Okay, so this is where I have to go back and think about the problem some more. So uh, $6, before I was just adding up apples, bananas, let me see here. Uh, I could have four apples and zero bananas. Could I do that? Let's see. I feel like that's not working with the problem, but it got me to six dollars and Delta Math accepted it, so let's give it a try and see where they're going with this, right? So another way to have six dollars, so I'm just going to add bananas for a while and hopefully I can get to six. All right, let's subtract one. There we go. So I had zero apples, and I ended up with one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four. So I ended up with five times four, which is 20. <clears throat> 20 bananas. And let's see here. Let's try another combination. So what they're doing is making us, uh, oops, let's see here. I go $3 and $3. Let's see. So I split it in half. So I had two apples. And one, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five by two, so 10 bananas. So they're making us come up with points for the lines, right? So two, and then go all the way up to 10 and plot a point. And the other one was, let's see here, let's try four, zero. That's an easy enough one to plot. <clears throat> two, 10 and four, zero. And hey, look at that we can see graphically what the answer to our system of equations is, is going to be uh, where they intersect. So we're going to have three apples and five bananas. So he bought three apples and five bananas. That wasn't too bad. <clears throat> Sometimes, you know, not really sure what Delta Math was doing, but we kind of just tried some stuff and trusted that Delta Math had a point. And sure enough, it actually wasn't too bad, right? Sometimes word problems scare us a little bit. Um, let's just try another one just to be sure. Um, if you wanted to, you could write out the system of equations. Um, 
from this problem. So Aaliyah has $2 worth of dimes and quarters, right? So D plus Q equals $2. Um, she has six more dimes than quarters. By, okay, so let's see here. She has dimes plus six equals, uh, she has six more dimes than quarters. I feel like that's dimes plus six equals quarters. Dimes. No, that would be Q plus six equals the number of dimes. Right? Total number of dimes is quarters plus six more coins. Okay. <clears throat> Um, so if you wanted to write out your system of equations, you could, right? Um, here they're telling us to use X and Y. X is the dimes. Y is the quarters. In my mind, I was using D and Q. Um, so just to show you guys really quick, whoop, let me get a new sketch pad going. Um, the way I wrote out my system of equations, I had dimes plus quarters equaled uh, $2. Um, but we have to think, hey, I can't just add D and Q. I have to add the amount that each one is worth. So I know dimes are worth 10 cents and quarters are worth 25 cents. So the number of dimes uh, times 10 cents plus the number of quarters times 25 cents equals $2. Okay, so that's a better equation. And then my second equation was relating the number of dimes to the number of quarters. So I had my total number of dimes is equal to my total number of quarters plus six. Okay, so this would be a really good setup for substitution. Um, you could substitute the Q plus six in for D plus 0.25Q equals two dollars right so you can set it up by substitution and solve to find q and then plug back in to find d but delta math's way is pretty um, straightforward it says uh, determine three ways to have six more dimes than quarters right so um, one two three four five six if i had six dimes and zero quarters six dimes and zero quarters that works right I could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dimes and one quarter, right? I could have seven dimes and one quarter. That's six more dimes than quarters. I could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dimes and two quarters, <clears throat> right? I could have eight dimes and two quarters. Okay, so those all work. Um, so let's see here. I had six and zero, seven and one, eight and two, right? So that's my first line. Um, all right, determine three ways to have a total value of $2. So let's see here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, one dollar, and one, two, three, four, that's $2 total. Um, so let's see here, I had how many dimes? Five times two, so 10 dimes and four quarters makes two dollars. And what else could I do? I could do just 50 cents and I could do a dollar fifty. Uh, that makes two dollars. So let's see here, that's five dimes and six quarters. Or another combination, I could do 50. 70, 80, 90, a dollar fifty, and just fifty cents. That would make two dollars, right? So that's fifteen dimes and two quarters would also work. So now they want us to plot that line. So let's see here. I'm gonna do ten four and five six. So I'm gonna plot ten, and it doesn't matter which two points you plot. Ten, one, two, three, four and five, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I see right there, my intersection is at 10, four. So she has 10 dimes and four quarters. Submit, huzzah, they liked it. Cool, that's a cool way to approach um, 
solving systems by graphing. I like that. And that is system of equations from context graphically guided.